Hello YouTube, I'm here with you today to review the Vision Spinner 2. It is a 1650 mAh battery with a voltage changer on it, a variable, it's got a variable voltage, and it's it does pretty well. Right now I'm running just a regular Kanger Tech EVOD tank on it. I have my own built coil on there. I started building, building coils. If you'd like a review on how to build coils, you can comment in the video below. Leave a comment saying you want a review, and I can do a review. Um, but you pretty much just build a coil out of the wire. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have to look it up. And you use cotton balls, and you just feed the you know you just tear off a piece of cotton ball, feed it through the wire. All right. I'm going to show you how this vapes. I'm going to vape starting at... I'll start at 3.3. That's the lowest setting. And that puts out like nothing. So I'm going to bump it up to 3.8. puts out a little bit more and it's it, it puts out nice vape the battery lasts all day I, I mean I, I use it all day so it lasts quite a long time um, overall vaping hours I'd probably say six to eight bumped it up to 4.3 now It's at 4.3, and it gets better. I got a 4.8 setting. It's the last setting. So this this has 3.3, 3.8, 4.3, and a 4.8. I usually run mine at 4.8. Clouds. But, you know, runs pretty good. What I did to this uh, Kanger tank is I drilled the hole out a little bit bigger than the other little holes. It's hard to see them, but I drilled those out. Just one. <clears throat> because I wasn't getting enough airflow with the cotton. And I wanted this, this, this hole a little bit smaller, but I couldn't find a smaller drill bit, so I just did with what I could. And it, it ended up actually working really well. I get great airflow with it. Um, the battery features three different lights. Uh, white, that means it's fully charged. And then that's like 60 to 100% battery. And then you have the blue light, which is 30 to 60% battery. And then you have the orange light, which is 0 to 30% battery. And even when it's on the orange light, it gives off really good vapor when it's almost dead. I use this thing right up until it's dead, and it works really good. So, I bought it at a local vape shop, and it cost me $45. I'm sure you can get it cheaper online, but I wasn't about to wait for a new battery to be shipped to me. So, I went out and just paid the $45. And... Honestly, I like it a lot. It's a very good battery. And if you'd like, I can post some videos on how to build coils. And all you have to do is comment, subscribe, like the video, and they'll be out pretty soon.